like there's always the inevitable question that everyone asks. What if I don't have that stencil? Or what if I don't have all the art supplies? So this lesson isn't a lesson as such, but more an alternative to show you that even if you don't have the stencils, you don't have to use a stencil. And even if you don't have the exact art supplies that we do have, there's always alternatives that most of you have. Just feel free to play along and use what you have. I'm just going to build up a background, filling my whole white space with different papers from my paper stash. You could of course also use the new collage papers I have in my signature collection or make some lovely collage papers with stencils if you have the supplies. I'm using the fluid matte medium to paste this all down. What I'm going to use next is I'm going to use a bit of heavy body white acrylic paint and I'm just going to give it a very 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 thin coat of white, like a white wash over it just to tame the background. Well I'm going to add three colours of choice. I'm going to use a turquoise, a yellow and a fluorescent red and I'm going to spread it over my background and because I'm using at the moment I'm using quite translucent paints you will see my background through it and it will become very lively the paint that I'm using here is the fluorescent red and that is actually a soft body paint that I've decanted and you will see it's a bit more opaque than the others although the neons are not really opaque but it is a thicker paint and I will just put it here and there just as an accent color I won't fill my background with it make sure you let the background dry before going on now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use a Liquitex paint marker and it's the neon pink and I'm going to add colour to my background and some pattern. I will colour in pieces and I'll use my finger to just rub it out and to soften the look of it. And it can be circles, it can be line work, it can be anything that you add. Just try a, try a few things and you will see that's what works best for you. Castle pit pen here to add a bit of depth to my page and you could use the Stabila or water soluble pencil for this as well but I just wanted to give you an alternative for if you don't have that in your stash. The Fiber Castle pit pen is great because this one is actually permanent when it's dry but when it's still wet or when you just added it you can still activate it with water and you can create patterns with it what i'm also going to use is i'm going to use my sharpie china markers it's a bit of a waxy pencil and it goes over acrylic fantastically so you can just draw with it draw some patterns do some line work and create interest on your page white and there's always on my pages 
I love finishing it off with a bit of white just to give it a sparkle and to just create a highlight here and there. to add a text and the text says take the road less traveled and I'm going to stick it onto a piece of white cardstock and then put it onto my page as a text. anything else that you want to onto your page. This lesson was just an extra and this is something that you can do when you get back home from holiday and you've got all your supplies together just to to give your this lesson a different twist. I would love to see what you make and I really hope you enjoyed this bonus lesson as well. Thank you very much. Bye bye.